this is another crafty sasha video and today we are in our survival series today i am going to be building another barn for the chicken for the for chickens as well as doing a lot of other things see if you can find the parrot that flies through a fence first person to put the timestamp in the comments gets a shout out in a future video also, these clips were recorded out of order, so if there's anything that is sort of confusing, like the iron tools in my hotbar, I'm sorry about that. We will get to that at some point in the video. Moving on from that, let's get this barn built so we can, so we can go find these chickens. So... It's sort of hard here because it's we can't really build off this way much more because there's so much of a hill and we can't really build off this way because of this building. <laughs> what if we built it behind this building and just sort of cleared this out? You know what? Let's try doing that. Okay, so I've laid it out a little bit. This will be enough room for three more barns, actually. But I don't think I'm going to build all three today. So you can see there's a big tree up there. I'll take care of the rest of the logs in that tree later on. And we'll just extend this pathway up here and around over here. So, let's get building. So what I'm doing here is I am replacing all of this this window here with with a with some fence posts like we did over there for that part so that way it sort of matches since we're going to have an animal pen over here too. So let's get back to it. Okay, so I have all the walls up, and you might have seen me putting cobblestone under there because with these pathways down, you can actually sort of see underneath the next block, so I was trying to sort of do that before so that we don't have to try to do that and get my cobblestone back out. There we go. So yeah, I'll have to do that for all of those under there. And I actually came in to get some window panes so that we can place them in the windows because I have the walls pretty much built up already. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, it's finished. So I sped that up quite a bit because, well, you guys have already watched me build three of these barns exactly the same. So I figured you probably don't want me to see me another build another one. Oh, looks like it'll be nighttime soon. 
<laughs> He's a little cow looking through the window. Ah, oh, another beautiful morning in Minecraft. Okay. Let's extend this pathway down. Wake some of this grass. And we'll extend it all the way up to here. And I'm pretty sure it was just a two wide pathway over there, so that's what I'm gonna do over here too. All the way up to the end, right there. And then we're gonna do pathways to where all the fence gates will be. Just like that. And it's time to go find some chickens. So you can actually get chickens with eggs so I'm actually going to first look and see if I have any eggs. It appears that I in fact do not have any eggs. So I guess we're gonna have to go out looking for some chickens. I'm really not seeing anything out here either. Huh. Why are there no chickens anywhere? Llamas, sheep, all sorts of other stuff, pigs. And I can't find any chickens. Well, I'm gonna look around a little bit more, see if I, if I can find any chickens. If not, then I guess we'll have to wait till the next episode. So I've been running around for quite a while and I cannot find any chickens, so I think we're just gonna have to wait till the next episode, see if we have more luck then. But at least we got the barn built up. So, I have been doing a couple of things off camera. So, I'm gonna get these ladders and I'm gonna go show you those things so I've been breeding the sheep a little bit and breeding the cows a little bit but the most exciting part is we almost have all the books we need we just need one more bookshelf and of course the enchanting table can't forget that that's like the most important part <laughs> But that's not the only thing that I've been doing. If we head on down this way, over to where we rebuilt the mine, I have been busy. And as you can see, shut that and go down. I found a couple of things, some copper, which I wasn't collecting this stuff before, but I decided that, um, you know, now that we're getting into the phase where we're building a little bit more, we could use this for roofs and things like that, so I believe I actually smelted all of the copper that we had back at the house already, I, I smelted that up. Down, and we'll plug that back up. Break the dirt. And we'll break that piece there. So I'm going to get down to the next piece and I'm going to mine that. So the next thing I found was some coal. <laughs> I'm going to mine it with my sword. Ooh. Okay. Some more copper here. And as we... So you can see down here, there's some gold here, which we need our iron pickaxe for. 
Ooh, deep slate gold too. Gold isn't that useful, but you know, why not get it? It's there. And we'll cover up this hole like we did all the others. So this is this is the deep slate and well yeah so I'm going to actually mine this down a little bit more so let's get mining straight away more gold let's, ooh, I guess I need an iron pickaxe for that we can get rid of the shovel I need to make a new iron pickaxe this one's getting really really the durability isn't great in it okay i'm gonna mine this up and Ooh, looks like i'm probably need to, gonna need to go to bed too Ooh, almost missed a bit gotcha there we go okay and literally, I just dug like four blocks out. You can see this is what I just dug where the gold was. And I have found some iron. So I've been digging, I've been digging for a little while. And you can see I've gotten a lot of, a decent bit of deep slate. Decent bit of stuff. And you can see there up at the top, top left corner, you can see I am at negative, I'm at negative 12. So that is lower than what the world used to be before the big, before the big update for the underground and mining and stuff. So I will go back up and look at what we got. So, we got a little bit of deep slate. Throw all that in. This pickaxe is about done. We got a little bit of coal. So, we'll put that up there. Actually, you know what? We'll split that in half and put half of it in the chest. Half of it up there. Put the cobblestone in the chest. And we'll smelt down these ores. So that's about it. Oh, I did want to show you seven copper blocks. That is what I got from all the copper and five copper ingots. I'm actually gonna take this iron and I'm going to create some iron tools that we will have and it looks like we are out of iron but that's okay because we have more smelting in the chest we'll throw all of those used tools in there uh we'll probably keep the shelf we'll probably keep this stuff as stone because I mainly just use the pickaxe and the axe. And I think that's about it. Oh, and I should probably get some more logs to put in my inventory. Okay. Ooh, and it looks like our iron is done. Ooh, and some copper. Get all this copper out. Looks like there's still some copper smelting in there and all of our gold. So we're just gonna stash the gold for now. I'm going to grab these copper ingots and turn them into, oops. Oh, it's just an iron block. <laughs> I accidentally turned my iron into an iron block, but that's okay, because I can turn it back into iron ingots. 
and it looks like I didn't actually need to take that five out, but those five ingots out. But now we have 12 copper blocks. And let's see. What else can we use our iron for? Uh, let's get a stick. Another stick so we can make a shovel. Just like that. And now we have an iron shovel and we'll save the rest. Just put it in there. And throw this shovel in there. Okay, now you might see the paper and leather, so I'm going to see if, yes, I'm going to see if we can make our last bookshelf. <gasps> we can! Yes, the last bookshelf. Now we need to get the enchanting table. That's the hard part. The books just take a long time because you have to farm cows. There we go. Did it really start all? Oh, it started raining. That's okay though. We put our extra books and paper in here. And that's about it for this video. This is another Crafty Sauce video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe too while you're at it.